Hi and the welcome to my first ever video recorded during daylight <laughs> during daytime. But apparently lighting is not so good, is it? Well, whatever. I have finished my preparationes uh, for my league start. Yes, yes. And as I announced in my previous video, I'm gonna play Flicker Strike Discharge, but this is only my final build. Um, the Flicker Strike Discharge. So I'm not gonna start off with that right away. Um, I'm gonna do the mapping, the early mapping and clearing the Atlas with Spellslinger Discharge. This would be this build, um, the idea of this build. It's pretty simple, you link Discharge with spell. Sp sp can I pronounce stuff correctly, please? You um, link Discharge with Spellslinger, then you attack with your wand, it doesn't matter what attack you use. Um, I'm using Frenzy, because Frenzy gives me Frenzy Charges. So this is one source of Frenzy Charges, then we have Enduring Cry for Endurance Charges, and then we have um, Power charge on critical for power charges. It's, it's gonna be sustainable in maps. It's gonna be easy, 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 even without uh, Feral's items or specific uniques. You can do all of this with, with um, rare items. It's gonna be completely fine. But this is not what this video is gonna be about as well. This is about the early stages. How do I start the leveling? And I, as I recommended in my past video, um, ch checked out some league starters. And so I stole an entire PUB. Originally, it was a champion PUB. And uh, maybe I will find... Uh, don't give me credit for this. I didn't do any of it. This is, I just stole it. I just stole it and checked it and looked what he's doing here. Um, maybe I'll find the guy to give him so much credit. But don't give me credit. I'm just sharing it. Um, this would be a PUB for speedrunning attempt to clear the campaign with elemental hit. This is great because we play Elemental Hit Wanda, sorry, Elemental, Elemental Hit Wanda, so we s right off start playing a Wanda. Um, maybe I can even try out Frenzy if I want to, or at least it will make it easier to swap back to Frenzy later, but I will start off with Elemental Hit Wanda. Um, pretty simple here, the only things we need is a Wand and Elemental Hit. <laughs> and this is a great example, this is why I stole this, because this guy has already some rares and... Uh, magic items on because it's the it's a snapshot of his, his finished campaign run, his speed run, so it all works fine. The ideas here are great to stack accuracy and then go 40% more attack damage if accuracy is higher than maximum life, point blank, and it's all perfectly, it's all perfectly done, or critical strikes do not inherently ignite, but you get 100% increased damage with hits against ignited enemies, this is just perfect. It's a very, very efficient, good PUB, I'm gonna use that early on. I'm gonna pick up elemental hits uh, when I killed Mere Veil as a duelist. Before that, I don't know, play whatever, I guess, maybe I should look at that as well, but this is what I'm doing. Now, what made me share this in the video format is the new gems are just perfect for everything I'm doing. The new gems are just... Mwah, it's so beautiful. First of all, we have Call to Arms. Call to Arms obviously makes your Warcry instant if you link it with your Warcry. And it doesn't really impact the cooldown. I thought the cooldown would go up or something because I didn't really look into it. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, Warcry usually have a cooldown of 3 seconds, I think. How much is it here? Because cooldown time 5.3. Oh, no. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> Wasn't here General's Cry? Uh, General's Cry is okay. Yeah, we just reduced it, it's fine, but it uses Warcrys on its own. I will try and play with that, see how this goes, because later on I will try to do something with Battle Mage's Cry. Might work, might be complete disaster, but we'll try out later on. But yeah, this is great, I like this. Or not. <laughs> because if it's really 6 seconds, then I might want to use this as a key, right? Because it also heals me. So, yeah. Well, it's still, it's still, it's still, it's still a great gem. Um, then we have automation. 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 The the thing here is that with discharge linked onto spellslinger, because it's spellslinger support, I lose thirty percent damage. Supported skills deal thirty one percent less damage, and Supported skills have 38% increased cooldown recovery rate. <laughs> so this is a this is this is bad for discharge. This is bad for discharge, but I don't know if this is a thing or not <laughs> for the early stages, but automation discharge might be a thing, might not be a thing. We shall find out. <laughs> we shall because 
yeah, we shall find. You, we shall find out. Maybe I'm. But um, yeah, automation looks good. What looks even better <coughs> for my build is where is it? Sacred Wisp support. I won't read it all out. What this does is, it supports any attack skills that can be used with wands. And if you attack with that attack skill, then you summon Sacred Wisp. And those Sacred Wisps, the th two you can have two, um, have a f twenty five percent chance to trigger the skill you are using and use them as well. This is good because, okay, first of all, I'm gonna use elemental hits, obviously. Um, but I will clear my campaign with elemental hit. And at some point, I will change elemental hit to frenzy and pl start playing discharge, right? Swap around my tree. But f frenzy gives me a frenzy charge if I hit with frenzy. Right now, I have barrage in it, so. Hmm. But um, frenzy gives me a frenzy charge if I hit. But Frenzy reads out that performs and blah blah. This gives your character a friend, the character a Frenzy charge if it hits. So if I have Sacred Wisp and I use Frenzy, do I get three Frenzy charges then if both Wisps also hit? Does it work like this, or does the Sacred Wisp get the Frenzy charge? I don't know. I'm also find out. Would be great if I would get them because then Sacred Wisp would be way more efficient than Barrage, because Barrage might seem like you're shooting a lot of projectiles, but I'm pretty sure it gives you only one Frenzy Charge if it hits still. We can uh, find out. Um, put this in here. I can here hit this, and if I hit it, I should get one Frenzy Charge if I... One? Yeah, I only... Two? See, I only get, um, I only get one even for for the entire barrage, so it's multiple projectiles, but I only get one. But with the Sacred Wisp, I could get three, technically, because they only have a 25% chance to hit, but I will have a lot of attack speed, especially since I'm Slayer later on. So this might be really great, the Sacred Wisp. So we have already three gems of the new gems, it could be completely amazing. And every time I do the lap, I will aim to find elemental hit of the spectrum. Because <coughs> where the normal elemental hit is like, yeah, we go lightning this time, now fire, now cold, maybe now cold again, maybe lightning, right? It is, 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 has this pattern of using a different element, where this one uses all the elements at once. Obviously, then we shouldn't make use of elemental equilibrium and stuff like this, but I don't really need that anyway, not even for discharge, because I'm gonna go for hits of a 25% chance to treat any enemy monsters, elemental resistances, values as inverted. This is... 25% chance, but I can skip all the resistance lowering, all the exposure stuff. I can just skip it with this one node. Also for discharge, because let's say my discharge has a cooldown of 1 to 1.5 seconds later on, and then I have to use it four times to make sure that the boss is dead in a way, because well, it doesn't deal zero damage if the resistances aren't inverted, but if I hit the inverted discharge, boss is gonna be deleted off of this world, right? So I don't have to care about exposure, I just have to skill this one note and I'm completely fine. <coughs> super nice, super nice. Uh, what else? Why am I in game again? Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna look out for this to find this in, in lab and see how this feels. Because this is... Snoobay made a video about this. This could be a banger for leveling, honestly. So. I'm playing Elemental Hit anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna look out for that, and yeah, so we have Call to Arms, might be super nice, Automation with Discharge could be, I mean, t take it this way, take it this way, take it this way, um, Automation, yeah, has no limits on, it doesn't make the cooldown bigger, it doesn't reduce the damage, where for example, if you play um, Discharge on a cast on crit, oh wait, Am I stupid right now? I just realized maybe I'm stupid right now. Does it say anywhere that it deals less damage when triggered? No, it doesn't, right? So it's completely fine. No, it's fine. It's completely fine. This has no note about that it deals less damage when triggered. And normally, for any other spell, this might not be optimal. Cooldown time. You can't really spam abilities with this because it has its own cooldown time. So it wouldn't be all so great if you're playing a spammy build. But for discharge, discharge has a bigger cooldown than this has. So, and discharge usually needs some right. You you, you get the drill, right? That this might be a complete banger. I don't know. <laughs> Happy to see how this turns out. 
No punishments. And still automated. Gonna, might might be really really great. Yeah, this is that. So we have call to arms, automation, sacred wisp might be great. Not for the flicker strike. Oh, then we have elemental hit for the leveling, of course. But then also, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, flicker strike of the power got buffed. Now we get increased critical strike chance per power charge. I don't know. Yeah, the normal flicker strike gives attack speed per frenzy charge. But it's way easier to sustain and to generate power charges than frenzy charges, even though the normal flicker strike has a chance to give grant a frenzy charge on hit. But this one should be more sustainable in terms of charges. So I'm probably gonna play flicker strike of power. And it got buffed even, so I just randomly decided to play this build and everything got buffed out of nowhere, apparently. Even before I even knew about what might be what. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling great, this is nice. And I'm talking nonsense right now, so I'm gonna end this video. Um, see you. Leak start Clown Fiesta, yes? Might the servers be gib- what? Might the servers be merciful? What am I trying to say? Whatever. See you. <laughs>